Join me today as I fit this active cooling fan to my solar imaging camera. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. We're slowly moving out the depths of winter here in the UK, with the days getting a little longer and the sun starting to creep a bit higher in the sky. I'll be breaking out my new solar rigs in the next few weeks, so I wanted to add some accessories this season to hopefully improve my images and better protect my precious gear. My main imaging camera for my Hydrogen Alpha sessions is this excellent Apollo M Max from Player One. I got some great images last year off this little guy, and it really packs a punch when it's paired with my Daystar Quark. I'll be doing a review of the camera later this year, along with some live streams, so make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification below so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Although it's been a great performer, the Apollo lacks a fan for cooling, and as I generally image the sun over the course of several hours, I wanted to invest in a cooling system to prevent the sensor temperature getting too high, which could lead to possible damage to the camera over the long haul. The Apollo M Max that I have here already has a basic passive cooling system, which is designed to help shift some heat away from the sensor and to dissipate it through the camera's body. Player One also sells this coolly powered fan though, which is meant to provide better temperature control and prevent the sensor and camera body getting too hot during longer sessions under the summer sun. I'll link to Player One's website so you can read more about the differences between their passive and active cooling systems, so head down to the description below after you watch this video. You can use this active cooling fan in other Player One cameras too, including some of their deep sky cameras like the Uranus C and the Saturn series. Cooling a camera sensor during nighttime imaging helps reduce noise in your final images, so it's not just for solar work. I'll be fitting it to my solar camera today though, and I'll take you through it step by step, so let's go do that now. So there it is, a fast and simple upgrade for the Apollo M Max. Let's plug it into the power and check it's working okay, and also hear how loud the fan is. That's not too bad at all, and I did have it right up against my lavalier mic in a closed studio environment, which would obviously never happen in the real world but I'll be sure to share the results during my in-depth review of the Apollo M Max, so stay tuned for that. It's also worth mentioning, however, after I got my Apollo, Player One released a fully cooled Pro version, so if you're looking to pick one up, I recommend you go straight for the upgraded Apollo to save yourself the job I just shared with you all today. I'll have links to all the gear I mentioned in the description below the video, so you can go check them out if you're interested. So what's your favourite solar imaging accessory? Let us all know what you're using and share your experiences in the comments section below. Well, I'm off now to unpack the rest of my solar gear, so I'm ready for what looks to be a very busy 2024 season on the sun. I hope you found this video useful, but any questions, feel free to post below and I'll do my best to help. Take care of yourselves, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and clear skies to you all.